Hey, hey, system coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Liverpool career mode. This is episode 49, just one more episode to go until we reach that magical number of 50 episodes. Boys, this is going to be a very interesting one. It is the semi-finals of the FA Cup Crystal Palace up against our youth takeover team. Chelsea are already through into the finale. If we can make it through there, a big opponent is waiting for us. And I cannot wait to play this game against Crystal Palace with the youth takeover team who have been quite successful lately, especially this guy right here, Ben Woodburn, is exceeding the expectations of Liverpool right now. And that is very, very nice to see. Let's get into the comments, the top comments of the last episode. Last episode, I asked you guys, where is Pulisic actually from, like his family? I know he's from the US national uh, team, but here's a comment from Shahin. He says, Pulisic's family is from Croatia. Thank you. I didn't know about that. Thank you very much for letting me know. I really appreciate it when you guys respond to the questions that I had. And also, a question that I had in the last episode was, do you guys like it more if I do the Liverpool career modes with the green screen? Or do you like it more if I do it with the camera, just like it is right now? I think that should tell you the answer to that question. 70% of you guys said I should be using the camera. I personally agree with that. So thank you very much for making it happen. I personally prefer this a lot more because I can work with this a lot more. I can edit a lot more with the green screen. Not so much, sadly. Also, there is talks about one player all the time. It's either Klein or Tejas that people talk about. But now that we have Mendy lined up for next season, Nathaniel Klein is the only guy that people just post comments about all the time. Here's one from Hey or Hi. Nice name. He says, sell Klein and buy Kimmich or Thomas Munier or even Carvajal. Like so Johnny can see, over 302 people like that comment. But then there's also people like Window Goat. He says, um, I see a lot of comments saying sell Klein, but to be honest, he only makes the odd mistake and you can use the money to make more useful signings. But then again, your team is solid anyway. It's up to you anyway. I mean, at the end of the day, yes, it is up to me, but I personally prefer letting my assistant coaches make the decision. So just let me know, like a final voting on Nathaniel Klein. Do you want him to stay in our club? If yes, vote yes. If you want him gone, vote no. I want to see a definitive solution to this problem right here. But I will have to tell you, it has to be at least 70% saying yes, he has to go. Because if it is like 60, 40, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it doesn't seem necessary for him to leave. But if it is 70, uh, 70 30, I'm like, okay, the majority, like the big majority, is actually wanting him to leave the team. So that is your decision, top right corner, as always. And now let's get into this. FA Cup, youth takeover team. Ah, man, big question being asked for this team. Can they get past Crystal Palace and make it through into the finale? Last season, they won the Carabao Cup. This season, we sadly dropped out of it against Watford. And now it's our turn to come up against Crystal Palace, who I think are not a bad team or anything, but I have beaten bigger teams on the run into the uh, uh, semi-finals of the FA Cup. We have beaten teams like Spurs. We have beaten another big team, I think. Spurs, we beat like 5-1, which was the biggest surprise and probably the best performance of this team for a long time. We beat Sunderland, Spurs, and now it's Crystal Palace. Okay, here is the starting lineup. Form, Henry, Tomkins, Sako, Riedewald, Van Aanholt, Zaha. Riedewald, for whatever reason, has always been a tough player for me to play against, but only when he played in the midfield. So now he's at centre-back. That might help us out. But they have Zaha and Joazinho down the wings and Benteke up top. Crosses are something that I need to avoid from happening. Ooh, there is so much pressure on this team. I cannot cope with it at times, man. This, like, whenever I play with this team, I'm so hyped. I'm so happy when I get victories with this one because I have such an emotional connection to all these players. I mean, they're not the highest rated or anything, but they are really nice talents who surprised me big time, including players like Ejaria and so on. So I really hope I can pull this one off. Decent here. We go over to Ejaria, who turns back, plays it over to Pulisic. Pulisic waiting for that run of Alexander Arnold, which is not coming in at any point here. That sucks. So we have to play it over to Ben Woodburn, who is through. One on one, no, we hit the post. I started celebrating already. I cannot do that in a game like this. I need to be more clinical in front of the target. 
Oh man, that freaking sucks. That would have been such a great start into this game. Ben Woodburn with the goal. The Liverpool kid. Ah man. Turns inside. Plays it over to Grujic. Grujic. Pulisic. Pulisic. With some space here. Pulisic. I need to score these. I cannot keep missing these. It was a tough position there. Good attacks or good defense from our team actually. We haven't really lost the ball in a dangerous position so far. We bring it over to the left hand side. I am so nervous. I am so nervous right here. Pulisic. Come on. Let's try it again. It works this time. Pulisic. 32nd minute. The longest build up to a goal. But it has happened. Oh yes. Come on. Oh man, I love this team. Look at that strike, man. Pulisic, top left, no chance for form. Pulisic has been such a great signing into this team. Just quickly had to switch the lighting in the room. 1-0 up, 32 minutes in, semi-finals. We gotta make this happen. Emerson, if you make this happen, you're the best left back I bought into this team. You're the worst. You're actually the worst. Good one. Zagadou misses header. Benteke could have been through there. Milivojevic decides to take the shot on his own. And uh, that was probably not the right decision. 39th minute. First attempt from Crystal Palace. Grujic. Big steal. Solanke. Come on. Fight him off. Riedewald. Ref. That's a red card. Referee. 44th minute. Riedewald. I would have scored the second goal here. If he gives him a yellow card, I'll be so pissed. It's a red card. Get off this pitch. I'm really happy that he got it because he's the one that I normally can't get past. So they are down to 10 men. Another advantage for the youth takeover team. It will take a lot out of me to bottle this one. I got an idea. Let's try this, all right? Let's try that. Let's go. Emerson, you can make this happen. Perfect free kick tactics. Emerson, yes. Yo, that was the reason I picked Alena, because I thought he would be the one that can play that pass. With his passing abilities, he should be able to do this. And he was, and Emerson made the perfect run. What a header. 2-0 up. Final. FA Cup final. I'm coming for you, Chelsea. This team is on fire. Alena, good pass. Ejaria now running through. Can we make it three? Ah, oh, his left foot has never been that impressive. Yo, I need to take a second here and think about the fact that I'm currently winning against Crystal Palace in the semi-finals of the FA Cup with the youth takeover team, dominating them with 62% possession, six shots, two on target. Yeah, I could have had more, I know. But they, they picked up a red card, obviously that helps. But honestly, we are playing with the sliders turned on and all of that stuff. That's not what I was asking for. Here we go. Here are the sliders again. You can see them. They are still the same as we had them changed the last time. Just so happy about this team performing so well, man. There's nothing I love more than youth players doing well. Uh, strength is not really the best attribute of this defense apart from Zagadu. Okay, okay. Zaha puts it in. That's a very well-placed shot from Zaha. Huh. Do I have to be scared? I don't know. That's like the first shot they had on target. I don't know. We could have done better there. Really good shot from Zaha. Alena. What a pass. Ejaria. Come on, Ejaria. Play through into Pulisic again. Pulisic, bad position, but he can make it happen. Uh, I was maybe a little bit too tight. They could be running through down the right. They will try to. And they will get the ball again. Here is now Amiri. He is running through. Karios. Good save. Corner kick, 66th. Benteke and so on. Waiting in the middle. That is Williams. Good try. Crystal Palace is getting awfully close to scoring that equalizer, and I don't like it. Here we go into the middle. Ooh, that was a close one. Gotta pass that one over to Emerson. Ben Woodburn gotta make his run. Ben Woodburn, nice. Played into Ejaria, good pass. Pulisic now. That's a terrible pass into him, but he can still score. He does it again. Christian Pulisic, two goals in the FA Cup semi-final. 
definitely the best signing of the season so far, I think. I really enjoy him a lot down that right-hand side. Nothing against Ryan Kent, man. He was actually quite decent for us. But Pulisic has that finishing ab ability. And for the youth takeover team, he has been the best signing. That's what I'm talking about. Best signing for the youth team, not for the first team. But perfect finish. Gets it past form. I was scared for a little bit that Crystal Palace could come back into this game. Even though they are down to 10 men. But now, all things are looking like we are going through into the final. Ejaria. Ejaria into Solanke what a pass what a turn what a finish youth takeover team there's a reason why I call this the takeover team it's because it just takes over any competition they are playing in kind of our cup this season didn't work out I know forget about that but the FA Cup it's looking good 5-1 against Spurs 4-1 up against Crystal Palace right now in the semi-finals no one would have expected this team to do so well. What a pass from Ejaria, by the way. But the turn from Solanke and the finish. Just ridiculous, man. I am so happy with this. Pulisic with some space ahead of him. He will try to play this one through into Ejaria, who just doesn't stop. Ejaria stops right now, though. He plays it. No, he doesn't. He wants to score that one on his own. It's a deflection. It's not a deflection. That's his shot. I mean, his left foot really isn't good. We gotta, we gotta know that by now. That's it. It is done. 4-1 victory against Crystal Palace. Mate, I love this team. I love this team so much more than the first team. It's actually ridiculous. I don't know why. It's just that it's a bigger challenge, you know. It's a bigger challenge on Legendary. Sliders turned on. And then we come up with magical moments like this. This is the best free kick I've taken on FIFA 18. It's not even a direct shot. So the next step will be the finale. Chelsea against Liverpool. Okay, I'm ready for that one. I can't wait to play that FA Cup final match. Liverpool though, man. What a performance. What a performance. Our manager rating, by the way, is on an 86. This is probably the first time I've mentioned it on this career mode. But we are three points ahead of Manchester United. But they have played one game more than we have. I'm also very interested in seeing who will be the player of the month in just a couple of days. Before we do that though, let's train Woodburn. Hopefully he can go up. I think he's very close to doing so. Ben Woodburn, 78 rated player. That is very nice to see. He has improved in his finishing and all that stuff. Now he has 82 finishing, 74 shot power. The shot power should be going up a little bit more for us to uh, make him a bit more clinical in front of the target. Now, show me the player of the month. Is it a Liverpool player? Aguero, I don't care about you. Give me the player of the month. I don't care about this. Give me the player of the month. Hello? Yes! Mo Salah! <laughs> That's the one! Another player of the month. Ridiculous, man. Liverpool dominating the league and also dominating with it with the best players of the league. Uh, Mo Salah had an insane performance again in this month. And now, hopefully, we are starting off into this month with great performances from different players or at least Liverpool players who can then pick up that award once again. We are up against Burnley. Burnley is in a 7th position with 50 points, 25 points behind us. We do have a nice little cushion between us and uh, Manchester United. So I can go ahead and sim this one with the first team against Burnley. Let's make sure though that we don't have a Champions League game after this. No, we don't. So we will play against Burnley at home with the first team. It will be a simulation though. Hopefully, they can pick up a victory because after that, we are up against Southampton away. We will be using the reserves team. I really want to use them again. I haven't really played a lot of matches with them. Vokes scores. Okay, okay. This is now your time, boys. On three, we smash that like and we get at least a draw out of this game. One, two, three. You see? You see? That's how it works. Nabi Keita, 87th minute. Quite late. But he did get the goal in and it is a draw against Burnley. We still are four points ahead of Manchester United. Um, they have won against Bournemouth 3-1. So they might still be one game ahead of us, I think. So that could mean that they are one point behind us in the league table at the moment. Yes, they are. Four more games to go. From this point on, 
No more simulations in the Premier League. It's just playing, playing, playing and hoping that we can get the title as early as possible. And I really want to have the title celebrations, EA. Please make it happen. I've had it multiple times that it didn't come through. I hope that on this game, on FIFA 18, that issue has been fixed and we don't have it right now in this Liverpool career mode. So as I told you, now the reserves team will be playing against Southampton. Uh, Naby Keita, the only goal scorer in this month. Um, Van Dijk with a red card, interesting to see. Reserves team is ready to go. A lot of really good players in this one and I'm quite confident that we can get another victory. Let's see if Pulisic can continue his good form now against Southampton as well. Um, a victory is crucial. I cannot give Manchester United a chance to come back into this race. We are two games behind them and only one game, uh, one point in between us. That is nice to see though. So if I do win my two games, it will be seven points between us with three games to go. Not bad. Obviously, there is a link in between Southampton and Liverpool. If you look at all the transfers that have happened in the past, Nathaniel Klein, Adam Lallana, hopefully Virgil van Dijk as well very soon. I mean, there have been some big transfers moving from that team to our team. Also, Oxley chamberlain started off at Southampton, I think now, and now he is playing for Liverpool. So yeah, big things coming out of Southampton. Very interesting to see though that they are doing this bad in real life this season. So hopefully they do continue the form of in real life against us right here on this uh, match here. We are away though, so we gotta keep that in our minds. Maybe the kit selection here wasn't the best, Jani. Maybe you could have done a little bit better, you know. Emre Can, good pass. David Bai does see the run of Malcolm. Malcolm. Why is Malcolm playing and not Oxley Chamberlain? David Bai. Bad finish. I should have put Oxley Chamberlain into this team because Malcolm is someone that we are trying to get rid of. I have made a mistake right there. Here comes Gabiadini. Oh, Emerson. Good one. Grujic into the middle. Emre Can. Damien Bai. Great turn. Play. Run, Malcolm. Run, Malcolm. Smack it in. You got like 85 shot power, man. I was hoping that he could smack that one into a different position. I feel like crowding the keeper might actually work on this one. So we play that one over here. We do a bicycle kick. That would have been nice. Nice. Over to Grujic. Grujic. Origi again. Origi plays it to Demirbay. Demirbay. Emre Can. Emre Can with some space. You cannot give him the space. You cannot do that. Outside the box. He's deadly. Oh. Redmond. Good job in keeping that ball. At his feet. And Emre Can. That was crucial because Gabbiadini was just making the perfect run there. Talking about the perfect run. Good one from Origi here. He will stop. Cut in sight. Finesse it around the keeper. Origi puts us up 1-0 against Southampton. Great run right there. Talking about a good run from Gabbiadini. Exactly the same thing happening on the other side. Except they cannot get the ball off of us like we did off of them. Origi, I believe that's like his what? Why are they showing this cameraman? Why is he so special? <laughs> Why is he so special? I really want to know how many he has scored so far in this season. I don't think that many. He has scored three goals in the Premier League. Closing in on the end of the season. At the end, I feel like Origi hasn't really proven to be like an incredible striker who came back from loan and could have maybe taken over a spot in the first team at some point. I just don't feel like it. Or he could prove me wrong here. Origi, <laughs> let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yes, it's the exact same goal. <laughs> what? Dude, dude, you guys just watched the replay. Yeah, you just you just watched the replay. I'm sorry. It's just a freaking replay. Exactly the same goal. You could put these two right next to each other and you probably couldn't tell which one is which. Look at this. It's the same. Maybe I was using them him the wrong way all the time. You probably need to take a look into his statistics after this game and see how many goals he has scored in all competitions and how many assists he has gotten and so on and try to find out if it was worth keeping him in the team. Southampton, come back into it. Okay, it's a, it's a good match so far. I'm enjoying it. I mean, I would have loved to keep a clean sheet, but I'm enjoying it. Gabbiadini with his weird haircut. Uh-oh, Tadic. 
Bat defending on my part here. That is the post. Buffal could have scored the second goal. It could have been Origi twice, Buffal twice. But we just were saved by the post. Changes being made into this team. Um, I don't have Oxley Chamberlain on the bench for this one. Why? Was he like injured or something? I, I can't remember why I don't have him in here. Uh, let's put Brannigan into the, into the game. We haven't played him in a long time. And Flanagan will be coming in for Emerson. Emre Can turns. Play. Nice passing to Demir Bay. Demir Bay. Easy. Let's make it 3-1. Let's finish this game. That's what we wanted. Demir Bay. He was unhappy. He was one of the players that was unhappy for quite some time now. And hopefully, now that he's getting a lot more playing time, he will be happy again. It is a signing that I've made at the start of this career mode, thinking that it is not really a popular choice. And it came out as probably one of the good signings of this career mode. Definitely not wasted money for this guy right here. Ben Woodburn. Oh, yes. Ben Woodburn. Please. Yes. That's the guy I want to be successful. And with that, I think this is the end of the game. I don't know if I will score one more, but that is the emotional end to this game. Because Chris, uh, Southampton could have possibly came back into this game with two goals behind. But now with three goals, cut it off. Cut it off. Stop it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Is it going to be a second one for him? It is. It is. I had to do it. I had to do it. It's every single game now with this new takeover team, or at least with these younger players, I should say, we concede one goal and we score like four or five. I mean, the reserves team and the youth takeover team are on fire. The first team has so much pressure on them to do well because these teams are just doing an insane job on the pitch. So, so good attacking. It's just ridiculous. I don't know why. I really don't know, but I love it. Southampton, in front of your home fans, that was a uh, quite bad loss there. But Manchester United, how about that, boys? How is it looking? Are you still chasing the title or are you giving up now? Guys, what I was scared of has just happened. If you guys remember properly, which was the one team that I wanted to avoid for the Champions League? It was Manchester City. Oh, God. We have Manchester City coming up in the Champions League semi-finals. The only team, one of the last teams that have beaten us this season. I don't know how to feel about this one. Because the last time we played against them, we lost 4-3 in one of the most devastating losses that I had so far in this career mode. How do we do on the first match, though? That would be quite interesting to see here. The first match we played against Manchester City, we drew. That's like the only team that we just cannot win against. I just don't know why. And now I am scared. I am honestly scared of dropping out of the Champions League against Manchester City. The first team now, they have had enough rest. This team, come on, man. Look at these squads. The youth takeover team. So many 73, 74, 75 rated players. And then you have this team with no one above 85. And then you have the first team with an 89 Coutinho, 88 Keita, 87 Mane, 87 Kovacic. This team has to do it. Please, Manchester City, just let me through. Just let me through into the Champions League finals. Let's see who has also made it through into the Champions League semifinals. Manchester United. Are you joking? Nah, three English teams actually made it through. If we do beat Manchester City, it will be a Champions League final between United and Liverpool. That's the dream. That is amazing. City, I have to smash you. I gotta get into that final. If we don't make it, it's a Manchester derby in the Champions League final, which is sick as well, but we don't care about that. And with that, it's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button or click it or hit it. Whatever you like to do with that like button, that's your thing, okay? And uh, I'll be back next, back next episode, getting closer and closer to the end of the season. I am excited about it, and I hope you guys are excited as well. Take care. See you next time in the Champions League final. Peace.